Broadcasting from the financial capital of the world, this is NBRFM, New York City. Welcome back to the show. I am your host, Mike David, and joining me today, please welcome my guest, Dana Martin. Dana, how are you doing today? Hi, Mike. I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Uh, before we get started, why don't you um, let our audience know what is the best way for my audience to reach out to you for more information for after the show? Everything you need to know is contained within the website, deepthoughtswithdana.com. Awesome. Everything. Awesome. So be sure to check that out out um now dana i understand you have our weekly reading for us for our zodiac signs is that right i do your weekly psychic forecast for all 12 zodiac signs awesome i'm looking forward to hearing so why don't you get started okay great mike all right well here we go first of all i want to say hi and welcome to everybody who's listening this is deep thoughts with dana and i'm dana i'm an intuitive empath or what a lot of people would call a psychic Clients come to me from all over the world seeking ancient spiritual wisdom and guidance through the tarot cards for business, love, and life in general. Because, you know, life can be confusing at times, and a tarot card reading can help you to understand what's going on and why. A tarot card reading can give you confirmation of your own intuition. It can help you to understand why things are the way they are, how others feel in the situation, and what to expect down the road. It can help you to understand your life path, give you hope and optimism when things are off track, and foresight for what's ahead. You know, the tarot is the storybook of our life. It's an image of our soul, and it's the key to your subconscious mind. It's gender neutral, religion neutral, and non-judgmental. Tarot prompts us to tap into the inner wisdom and spiritual knowledge that lives within all of us to understand, most importantly, your own intuition and your, your, your journey. It's not spooky, it's not magic, and it's not witchcraft. My ability, my ability to help you understand your life through the tarot cards is a gift, and I'm here to use my gift to help you along your journey. So if you need guidance, understanding, direction, confirmation, or just simply peace of mind, you can reach out and schedule a personal reading with me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I do all of my work over the phone. As an intuitive empath, I can channel your energy from anywhere in the world and create a personal reading just for you, just for your situation that we will discuss together at length. I know a lot of you tried to get on my website last Tuesday when I was on and appointments were booked, but I have fixed the calendar faux pas and I am open for appointments. I do this all day, every day. And there are appointments available for as soon as um, the middle of this week for anybody who's interested in a personal reading. All right, so here we go, guys. As a weekly psychic forecast for all 12 signs of the zodiac, beginning with the youngest sign being Aries and ending with the oldest and wisest being Pisces. I myself am a Taurus with a Pisces moon, a Pisces rising, and a Pisces Venus. All right. So Aries, Aries, born March 21st through April 20th. Your overall energy for the week is about transition. What we find you doing for the next seven days, Aries, is coming to terms with the fact that you'd like to offer your feels in a love situation. However, you're struggling with the fact that your lifestyle will have to change to do so. And that's really not something that you're 100% sure you want to do. There's much contemplation and evaluation of this situation this week. As the week moves on, you'll find yourself doing some soul-searching and some introspection about your desire to share your feelings with another in a committed relationship. For some of you, this relationship is from the past. It was dead and gone, but now it's on the verge of being resurrected. So all in all, by the end of your week, Aries, you find yourself making the judgment call that the commitment with this person is what you want, and you're willing to change your ways to bring it to fruition. Taurus, April 21st through May 21st. Taurus, your overall energy for the week is mental clarity and truth. 
you enter into this week with truth being revealed to you about a love interest engaging with someone else. Yeah, that's a lot of my tarot card readings. I can't tell you how many people I've busted for cheating. (laughs) So you enter into this week with truth being revealed about somebody that you have the feels for engaging with someone else or at least is entertaining options and choices with someone other than you. This fills you with a great degree of disappointment, and you withdraw, heavily contemplating if you should just simply walk away. There's a truth that will come to you from within yourself about what you thought was a wish fulfilled, but it's not. These cards say that you very well may put an end to your feelings for this person and make a regretful but necessary transition into a new beginning and a new journey all on your own. Gemini, May 22nd through June 21st. Gemini, the overall energy for you this week is preparation, foresight, and expansion. You are very much in your feels about communication that comes from some kind of an authority figure that offers you an opportunity for wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction this week. This is a turning point in your destiny, Gemini, and this all has to do with some kind of teamwork and collaboration. However, you've had a lot of mental anxiety because you're going to have to leave something that you're attached to. You're going to have to leave something that you're attached to behind in order to invest your time and efforts into this opportunity. You will experience a bit of anxiety this week, perhaps some sleepless nights, and struggle with a lot of indecision. However, this communication that comes into you about an opportunity that will be wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction has the potential to bring you much success. And you can see that it's something worth investing in, perhaps even an answer to prayer, as divine timing is going to bring stabilization, prioritization, and balance into your life. And this realization makes the transition away from this current attachment much, much easier for you. Cancer, June 22nd through July 22nd. Cancer, your overall energy for the week is undelivered promises. You are reflecting and assessing your position in life and the people in it. There are some mental mental anguish. There's some mental anguish in regards to a romantic situation that revolves around an all talk and no action kind of feeling. And it leaves you feeling left out in the cold. Undelivered promises, right? After much contemplation and reevaluation of this situation, whereby these undelivered promises have, have left you with heartbreak and pain and sorrow, feeling on edge and very defensive and self-protective, some truth spoken within yourself that there is a misalignment of values in this relationship may very well lead you to initiate a breakup. Leo, August 23rd through August 22nd. Leo, your energy for the week is a a message of a new beginning. You enter into this week with feelings of heartbreak and loss because of some kind of massive revelation that comes to you. This epiphany, this information, this knowledge triggers you to disengage and walk away from a relationship, and it puts you in a state of soul-searching and introspection, a state of self-protection. However, as the week progresses, there's some truth that comes into you about this situation, and it brings with it a message of a creative new beginning, a culmination to the situation that leads to reuniting or reconciling this relationship. This message, this truth that is spoken, allows you to move on from the feelings of heartbreak and loss. And it brings you back into a position of security, control, and power within yourself. It allows you to break free of mental challenges in regards to giving this situation another try. So, Leo, there's going to be some truth that changes everything for you this week. Virgo, August 23rd through September 23rd. Virgo, the overall energy of your reading is divine timing. 
you are beginning to see things clearly, and this clears up any kind of confusion or indecision that you may have had about manifesting a new opportunity that has the potential to bring much stability and structure into your life. You want to take action to move forward with this opportunity because you do feel that it is divine timing at play in your life. As you have manifested this abundance, you've worked hard to bring this into your life, and now is your time. You know that you know that you know that this commitment is the purpose for your life at this particular juncture, and it brings wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Libra, September 24th to October 23rd. Libra, the overall energy for you this week is temperance. You begin this week contemplating the structure of your life because there's been some kind of heartbreak that has created some fear and some anxiety, some indecision, and a lot of contemplation about just simply walking away. However, there are some some passionate messages that are coming into you that's going to change everything. These messages bring balance to your emotional state as they contain truth about the shady behavior that caused the heartbreak in the first place. It brings a culmination to the situation and puts you in an energy of much contemplation and reevaluation as to whether or not you're going to continue your relationship in this situation or if you're simply just going to close out this cycle and write a whole new chapter of your life. Temperance, Libra, is your energy for the week. Excuse me. Scorpio, October 24th through November 22nd. Scorpio, your overall energy for the week is options, choices, and decisions. You enter into the week contemplating walking away from what you thought you might have wanted in the recent past with lots of mental anxiety about the potential and the success of a relationship. You're thinking about putting it all to an end, but you're definitely in a state of indecision. As the week progresses, you're very much in a decision-making mode about whether or not you want to engage in a new beginning in this situation or not. You're trying to see things clearly, weighing the pros and cons, and you're making a decision about the action you're going to take in in this situation. As you do have options, and you're really not sure which way to go or what you want, This is a burden and a struggle for you, and you're very much in your feels all week long. At some point during the week, you're going to have a revelation, an awakening, an epiphany about a passionate new beginning with another and who it is that you really want to give your feels to. This decision brings peace to your mental, but not without much contemplation. Your decision is that going forward in a love relationship, having a new beginning and a new journey with commitment will bring you the hope, faith, purpose, and renewal that you want. Sagittarius, November 23rd to December 21st. Sagittarius, your overall energy for the week is burden and struggle. You enter into the week with fear and anxiety when it comes to the renewal of something that has ended in your life. Through much contemplation and reevaluation when it comes to your feelings, you come to an epiphany about a new opportunity that has manifested in your life. This brings about feelings of self protection, burden and struggle because somebody in this in this situation has fallen from your good graces at one point in the past and there was an ending to the relationship however this person is coming back to you with messages of a passionate creative new beginning between the two of you and an opportunity to write a brand new chapter in the relationship you're not really sure if this is something you want to do hence the overall energy of the week being burden and struggle Capricorn, December 22nd to January 20th. Capricorn, your overall energy for the week is manifestation. You enter into the week doing some serious soul searching because you have the urge to just walk away from a situation. However, you're just sitting on this urge because you're taking into consideration not only your feelings, 
but your personal security as well. There's a lot of confusion and indecision and fear of the unknown here. What you would like to do is manifest a change in this situation. You would like to reconcile your feelings and create harmony and stability in this, in this circumstance. Your propensity is to take action with some communication about the viability of this relationship because you feel like it's definitely worth fighting for. Aquarius, January 21st to February 19th. Aquarius, your overall energy is self-protection. You enter into the week focused on your home, your security, and your feelings. You're seeking some kind of mental clarity that will bring this situation to a culmination and give you a renewed sense of self-sufficiency. There's a lot of anxiety in regards to the stability in your life, and this is, this is the energy of self-protection. This whole situation is a burden and a struggle for you because of fear of the unknown. You're very challenged and you're very conflicted and you find yourself waiting while doing a lot of thinking. There will be some swift change, though, some fast communication, some movement in the situation that does alleviate your confusion and your indecision and it allows you to move forward into writing the next chapter of your life. Pisces. February 20th to March 20th. Pisces, the overall energy for your week is judgment. You enter into this week thinking about closing out one life cycle and beginning a brand new chapter. What's on your mind is the security, the control, the power, the abundance in your life in regards to some kind of teamwork and collaboration where there was a great hope for some kind of a renewal and abundance in this situation, but now there's some kind of a, of a third energy entering into the scene that you didn't see coming. This creates a lot of fear of the unknown, and it causes a lot of conflict because this third energy just came out of nowhere, and it requires you to make a very big judgment call, a very big decision. What you're contemplating is whether you should end this particular situation and walk away because of the third-party energy that is creating feelings of loneliness and loss for you. This is something that you didn't plan on. You didn't see this coming, and it, came, it just came out of left field. It causes a lot of fear and anxiety and confusion. It's definitely a challenge for you because what you thought was going to be a harmonious, happy, I want to say reuniting, right, an alignment of values with some kind of reconciliation with someone from your past has turned into a competitive situation with a third-party energy, and Pisces, you're just not having any, any of it. Pisces is coming forward with the energy of, look, bro, I'm not an option. I am not an option. It's either me or it's not me. And that is the overall energy for Pisces for the week, judgment. And there you go, Mike. That is the weekly psychic forecast for all 12 signs of the Zodiac. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you guys can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. And there are plenty of appointments for everybody. Awesome. And uh, I actually do have some uh, a little bit of questions for you. Um, but before that, we're going to take a quick commercial break uh, since we have a little bit of time. And uh, when we get back, we'll have more with Dana Martin. We'll be right back. Have you been injured in an auto accident and need transportation to and from your medical appointments? KMW Transportation is located and services the Metro Detroit area. Owned and operated by Shaquana Ford, KMW Transportation Company provides reliable, affordable service guaranteed to get you to and from your destinations on time in a clean and smooth and safe manner. Do you need to get up and go? Call for your car service directly at 313-293-0234. Or by email at quantamarie2015 at gmail.com. That's 313-293-0234 or Q-U-A-N-A-Marie2015 at gmail.com. 
Is your computer slow? Seeing strange pop-ups? You could have a computer infection. Call Computer and Internet Help. A certified malware removal specialist will make your computer healthy and fast again. Most importantly, at an affordable price. Call Computer and Internet Help at 239-567-0104. That's 239-567-0104. Or email them at pccoach@live.com. That's PC Coach at live.com. And go to their website, computer and internet help.com. Computer and internet help.com. Computer and internet help. Making computers healthy one at a time. Broadcasting from the financial capital of the world, this is NBRFM, New York City. And welcome back to the show. I am your host, Mike David, and with me is Dana Martin. Uh, Dana, first off, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for the, for doing the weekly reading. Um, you know, a lot of our listeners, uh, you know, like to keep up on those sort of things, and uh, you know, I, I'm sure you've been a great help for them. Um, now, Dana, I wanted to ask you, you know, how long have you been doing readings yourself? Oh, I've been reading tarot cards since I was 16 years old. Now, I haven't always been a professional tarot card reader. I've actually been a very successful business person most of my life, but I don't know, about two years ago, I just, I just had a calling. I just had a calling, and it was undeniable, and I, I, I literally put my entire life down and followed this calling, and here I am um, with a successful business and on a, on a radio show, no less. <laughs> awesome. And um, is there anything that kind of separates you from, say, you know, other psychics or other people that, that, uh, that are doing readings? Well, kind of, sort of. And, you know, that's kind of a, of a, of a catch-22 type of question because, you know, there's no judgment here for any other kind of psychic or tarot card reader. Everybody uses their gift in their own way. Me, I come from a very, I, I, I believe in science. Okay, I'm not a, I'm not a real, I have, it's what makes me a good tarot card reader, is that I have no religious preference in any way whatsoever. I'm a clean and clear vessel, and what I do believe in is science. And actually, the tarot cards are extremely scientific in the algorithm that runs through them. What makes it unique is the psychic ability to tap into somebody's subconscious mind and read their life story you know, somebody that you've never met, somebody that's, you know, on the other side of the world. And I suppose that's what makes me different from, from others that do this, is that I come from a very scientific, practical, logical, reasoning mentality, and I use the algorithm of the cards, and then I use my gift, which is just unexplainable, to help people understand the circumstances and the situations that are going on in their life. Wow, that's awesome. And uh, now, as of late, um, what have people been uh, coming to you for? Um, is it mostly with relationship issues, career issues? What is it that you're finding? Love and money, baby. Love and money make the world go round. It's either love <laughs> or it's money. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And um, do you have any um, projects in the work, or are you looking to expand into other things, or are you really just focusing on, on, on doing the readings? I'm really focusing on just tarot card readings. I do have a huge YouTube channel, and all of you listeners are welcome to follow me on YouTube. It's Deep Thoughts with Dana on YouTube, and I put out monthly, bi-monthly, and of course a duplicate of this weekly reading um, on my YouTube channel, and um, I have a lot of I have a lot of subscribers, a lot of followers, and I'm very interactive on my YouTube channel. So if y'all would like to follow me, subscribe to my channel, and you can get free general tarot card readings um, on the first of the month, the fifteenth of the month, and of course a duplicate of this once a week. Awesome! I'm sure a lot of people uh, that are into the readings are going to want to check that out. Now, um, also. I wanted to ask you, you know, what would you say personally is your favorite part of what you do? Helping people to understand their own intuition. Because, you know, we're all taught as human beings in this world, in this lifetime, to think with our cerebral intellect, right? We're taught to think logically. We're taught to reason things out. And a lot of people don't understand that their intuition, that gut feeling that you get, 
that is your source, your guide, whatever that is for you, whatever religion you are, whatever, whatever guides you when you go to your quiet place to seek wisdom and comfort, whatever that is for you, that is your intuition, and that is your source trying to guide you. And oftentimes people don't acknowledge their own intuition, and they make cerebral decisions. So when people come to me for a tarot card reading, oftentimes it is confirmation of what they already know. And I really enjoy enlightening people and teaching people how to follow their own intuition and how to be guided by their source down the path that they are supposed to fulfill in this lifetime. Awesome. And um, what are some things that people can expect uh, if they were to get a reading from you, say, from the first time? Well, first and foremost, expect the truth. People often come to me expecting rainbows and unicorns, right? And oftentimes, I don't always have that to say. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of my readings are about cheating. <laughs> a lot of love people come to me wanting to know what's going on, you know, and I can tap into, like, just say, Mike, for instance, if you have a girlfriend or a wife, right, and you want to know what they're thinking or how they're feeling about the situation, I can use you as a channel to tap into that person's energy and tell you what's going on in their mind, and I guarantee you it is 100% on point. So a lot of people expect... A lot of people expect just like a general, this is what's going on in your life kind of thing. And the way that my gift works is that I tap in to not only your subconscious mind, but the subconscious mind of everybody involved in the situation. And I can lay out a story from start to finish about what's going on, what decisions need to be made, and what the ultimate forecast for the outcome will be. And a lot of people don't expect to be... Um, revealed, right? Because you can't hide from me and you can't hide from the tarot cards. So what the truth is will come out. And a lot of people don't expect that. Nice. And uh, once more, what is the best way for my audience to reach out to you for more information? You can hit my website up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Everything you need to know is contained within that website. And if you want to follow me on YouTube, it's Deep Thoughts with Dana. Sounds good. Well, Dana, I just want to say, you know, thank you for sharing, you know, such value and information and insight with our audience today. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you on, and I just appreciate you taking the time out. You betcha. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, sounds good. We'll see you then. And for everyone else out there listening, please stay tuned. We're going to be right back. Broadcasting from the financial capital of the world, this is NBRFM, New York City. This is you over 30 years ago. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And this is your mom when you drive her back from therapy. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Roles change without us noticing. And in your new role, we help you help. AARP gives you the information to help care for your mom so that you can have patience with her just like she did with you. Visit aarp.org caregiving or call 1-877-333-5885 to get practical health and wellness tips to provide even better care for your loved one. Are we there yet? Remember, visit aarp.org caregiving. AARP, we help you help. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council.